Well, greetings, Mr. Colazar's class. Our new chapter is going to be chapter 16, and we're going to pair chapter 16 and 17 together. And we're going to look at kinetics, like kinetic molecular theory. Kinetics is going to be our moving, but we're going to start looking at rate, or how fast something is moving. And then equilibrium is going to be a term, kind of we're going to look at it as balance. And those are going to be the two ideas that we're going to be bringing together this chapter. Now, as we're working, please remember we want to be listening to the information as we're going. So listening, maximize that screen so that you're paying attention to the information that's happening. Now, kinetics is going to be the study of the rate. Rate means how fast chemicals react. So we're going to look at how we can either speed up or slow down our chemical reactions. And that's going to be based off what we know as the collision theory. And collision theory, just as it says, particles must collide in order to react. Um, two things with it, they must collide with enough energy and they must collide in the correct orientation. And those are the two things we're going to be focusing in on. So the two ideas with kinetics and making our chemical reactions occur if they are not moving fast enough, we don't have enough energy and their electron energy levels bounce off or they repel each other. So if they don't collide fast enough, we're not going to get a chemical reaction. We need the uh, molecules hitting each other with enough energy where the electron orbitals will actually overlap with each other and then we can have that chemical reaction begin to occur. So they must collide with enough energy. The second idea is they must collide in the correct orientation. If they're not partnered up correctly, they are not going to react. So the correct orientation is going to be the second part. And they must collide with enough energy and in the correct orientation. If they do, we get that activated complex and we can have a chemical reaction occur to, com to, our, to make our two new products. So to look at that, on our chart, A will just kind of separate these parts apart from one another. Our first one, A, they collide, collision, incorrect orientation. They're not lining up correctly, so they're going to rebound past each other. So our first one, incorrect orientation, those chemicals, atoms are not lining up correctly. Second one, Again, in correct, or correct orientation, not lining up properly to form the elements that need to move or combine together. In D, correct orientation, but they're not moving fast enough. So again, the electron orbitals repel each other and they bounce back in direction or different directions. C, however, correct orientation, so the atoms that need to combine with each other to form what we're going to be knowing as this activated complex. That becomes an important term coming up. And that's going to be the moment they come together, and then they're going to produce our two new products. So as we're looking collision theory, must collide with enough energy and the correct orientation. So that's our first part of this chapter. 